if I could go back in time and change some of the things that I've said. Like what? Did you guys hear about Marty Saybrook? I overheard one of my customers tonight saying that she was in the hospital. What happened? Oh, I didn't catch all the details. Marty was pushed down a flight of stairs. Is she okay? She's pretty banged up, but she lost the baby. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, you said she was pushed. They knew who it was? Well, there was a witness that saw Todd push her down the stairs, but I was the number one suspect for John. What? That's crazy. Well, I'm glad that you think so, because John did not see it that way. And in fact, it seems that the only person at the police department who did think that I was innocent was Brody. Huh. Excuse me. How could John think that Natalie could do something like that? They were, they were a couple once. They were almost married. Mm. Things change, stuff happens, people get hurt. They end up not trusting each other. So, Todd is... Arrested? Apparently John handcuffed him to his hospital bed. I know my mom's not going to be pleased, but I have to say I'm... I'm really glad I'm off the hook. For what it's worth, I don't think John thought you did it. He just had to ask the questions. You're a really good friend, Brody. You know that? <laughs> right back at you. No, seriously. I don't know what I would have done without you. So now that you owe me one? Okay, name it. What kind of corsage do you get a girl for the high school prom? Well, if you're worried about my heart, it's already been stomped on by Christian, who only has eyes for Layla. I mean, he's bringing her to the prom. Can you believe that? It's just, she's so old. Anyways, I'm not going to sit at home all alone just because he forgot that he asked me. Jesse, if you think that you still have a chance with it's Christian, It's my senior you can... prom, okay, Dad? And I'm not going to sit at home alone. Besides, I I really, I feel like I should go. It's, it's important. And Mom and Marty think so, too. I know. She told me, and yeah, I th Marty agrees with her, and they must know best. After all, I'm just your old dad. You're not old. You're just protected. And you know something that's never going to change? Clint. Great. Well, it's good to see you, but uh, I'm sorry. This is my daughter, Jessica. Pleasure to meet you. Reed said he knew you and Kevin from London. Uh, involving BE business? <laughs> well, you know, Kevin, bless his heart, loves a party, but the man can't order a ham sandwich without help. So... I got roped into entertaining clients from time to time, mm. where I met Reed, Mr. Wagner, who I am sure heard about my mother from Kevin. Mm. Well, it was very sweet that he stopped by, but really unnecessary. We only met a few times. You hardly know each other. He seemed charming. And handsome. I hadn't noticed. When I saw you at the gym before the fight with Cole. Yeah. You know, he started it. Look, if you want to argue about Cole, I'm out of here. I'm fine. Well, the point is, I was rehearsing, trying to understand how Star felt, how she could defend you despite all the horrible things that you did to her. I was only trying Look, to I'm not finished. I was saying my lines and trying to understand how she felt and I started wondering if maybe I was being too hard on you. That there was something that I was missing. That maybe there was something there after all a reason to, to let you in. Danny, all I've wanted is to have a chance to be your father. And if you're ready to let you know, me I was know. thinking about it. But then Cole said that you pushed his mother down a flight of stairs and killed her baby. What am I supposed to do with that? You can begin by believing me. 
when I tell you I didn't do it. Look, Taya, I don't blame you for being upset. I'm upset. I mean, Todd has gone way too far this time. Push Marty Sabre down a flight of stairs. It makes my stomach churn. Oh, my God, and that little baby. But I tell you what I don't get. You defending him. How could you do that? No, he says he's innocent. Says he's innocent. You know that he's guilty. You, you're the one that came to warn me that he was a suspect. Yeah, because of our children. And don't you think they've gone through enough? They need a father. Yeah, they need a father. Not a murderer. And if he did this, he's got to pay for it this time. And I know that I have forgiven Todd more times than I even care to remember, but not this time. And you can't help him either. You cannot, not unless you want to lose the respect of your daughter. But see, that's that's just it. I, um, I'm doing this for Danny. Todd can't go to prison, not now. He's gotten away with every bad thing he's ever done, Taya. He can't this time. Not killing a baby. You no. don't understand. Oh, I don't understand. Okay, uh, but then why don't you explain it to me? Why do you feel that you need to save Todd Manning yet again?